What's going on everyone, Eric with Proactive Intuition here, and this video is going to be my second video of me pursuing, quitting my full-time job and becoming a full-time self-employed reseller. So where I'm at right now is I'm still on pace uh, to be able to quit my job within the next couple months. I'm planning on May is going to be the timeline uh, when I'm going to be leaving my job. So everything's still on track, everything's in play. Uh, I did get to figure out over the last week or so how I'm going to be structuring my schedule as well as how I'm going to be uh, allocating my funds in the business. So obviously if you're a reseller, you have to put a lot of your money back into the business. If you're not able to get more inventory, you cannot you know, keep your business going and being able to make that higher dollar income being a reseller. So the way I'm gonna be structuring everything is, it's all based on the book Profit First. I talked to a buddy of mine, he does it in his martial arts business and it works out phenomenal for him. Uh, and I listened to the whole book in about three days and it's a really cool book. It teaches you how to pull out profit first so that you are profitable from day one in your business. So whether that's 1% of your income you're making from your business goes towards profit, at least you are pulling a profit in your business. And it kind of breaks the myth that you have to put everything back into the business in order for your business to grow. Uh, and it breaks the myth that more sales doesn't necessarily mean doesn't necessarily yield higher returns or higher uh, profitability in a business. So it's an awesome book. Uh, so I'm going to be kind of structuring everything uh, based off of, I'm hoping by uh, June that I can be hitting 8,000 in sales. Now, there's a couple variables that could make that so that doesn't happen, but that's the goal right now. That's the plan. So all my numbers are based off of me doing uh, approximately $8,000 in gross sales on my eBay platform. Now I do also have an antique mall and I already structured out how I'm going to be doing that too as well. Uh, well I don't own the antique mall, I just have an antique mall booth, but I structured out my profitability from that too also that's separate from this. So in uh, my business I'm going to be pulling, out, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'll just kind of break it down. Uh, I'm going to be pulling out 20% for taxes. And now. Uh, I should only have to pull out 15.3%, but I'd rather pull out more, and then anything I have left over is just kind of flowing through to the next year, because taxes is something I'm not that comfortable with, so I want to be able to pull out a little bit more to be able to put more towards taxes. 5% uh, I'm starting out with profit, uh, and the book really shows you cool ways to structure your profit and how you can use your profit for quarterly business, uh, quarterly uh, bonuses for like you and your employees and anyone in your company. It's really awesome. Um, actually, if anyone wants to listen to the book, I'll put a link for it in the description below. Uh, it is a phenomenal book. Um, I think Audible gives you a 30-day free trial, so you can get the book for free if you've never done Audible before. I listen to the book. I listen to most of the books um, on audio. Uh, I do read too as well, but uh, I do prefer uh, audio books, especially in this business where you're sourcing and you're listing, it's good to have something in your ear to kind of keep you going. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is 25% is going to be for uh, personal income, so that's going to be like my salary that I'm paying. That will go down. I'm not I'm not going to stick with this, but just, just kind of rough estimates on things right now, but I'm going to stick with this and then redo it and revise it as I figure it out because I'm not full-time yet. And then 50% is going all back into the business. So that's just kind of the basic structure on this. Uh, but I definitely, if anyone has any type of business, I would recommend reading that book, Profit First. It's one of the coolest books I've ever, ever read. So uh, aside from that, uh, what I figured out this week too as well that's putting me on track is I am uh, structuring my schedule very strictly. So I'm treating this as a job. It's not like I wake up oh, I kind of feel like working today, or I don't feel like working today, so I'm just going to work shorter hours. Like, no, I'm structuring this like a full-time job. And actually, I'm going to be working more than 40 hours a week on the business. Because right now, I'm working full-time, and I'm doing this on the side. So, you know, I'm no, I'm no stranger to working 50, 60, 70 hours a week. It's not not that big of a deal to me so plus I enjoy this so it's it's really easy especially like I said I keep those airpods in my ears all day so I'm listening to audio 
all day long. So it, you know, it keeps it easy. I can listen to audio all the time. You know, I never get sick of it. So, uh, the way I'm structuring my business is Sundays are going to be my off day. Monday, Tuesday is going to be a listing, uh, basically listing day, restocking my antique booth, um, picking up inventory of people that come to me, and I'll share with you guys how I do that in later videos, but most of my sales are gonna be from people coming to me and bringing me inventory. So I'll show you guys in another video on how I structure that, but that's gonna be a huge portion of my income. Wednesday is gonna be kind of like a casual, uh, work day. Oh, by the way, Monday, Tuesday, I'm working eight to 10 hour shifts. I'll structure it out each week how I want to do it. Eight to 10 hours on those days. Wednesday is kind of an optional work day. I'm just, it's just kind of a casual work day. I'm doing YouTube stuff, uh, you know, maybe picking up some inventory if someone's coming to me with stuff. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, those are going to be my main work days. I'm working 12 hours per day on those days. So from seven in the morning until 7 p.m. at night, uh, I'm structuring it. Once I start going full time, that's going to be like my heavy hitter days. I'm going to be sourcing, uh, listing, but primarily sourcing because it's going to be garage sale, estate sales, uh, auctions, things like that. I'm going to be hitting up. So those tend to happen on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, at least garage sales and estate sales do in my area. So that's going to be the primary big days where I'm going to be sourcing most of my inventory. Uh, and then also people coming to me too as well. So that's how I'm kind of structuring everything. Uh, I'm going to continue to kind of show you guys how these things are working out for me. And then the things that I think work out best for me that uh, I want to share with you guys. But that's how I'm going to be starting uh, with my reseller business because I want to come right out of the gate where I'm like making money and still able to pay me a little bit because right now my corporate job, you know, it, it pays pretty decent and it has the, you know, additional benefits and stuff that I'm going to be losing. So, and I'll have to be able to make enough to, to replace my income. My expenses right now are very high, so I don't need to be making a ton of money, but, um, you know, $8,000 is kind of the goal in June. So it, it's a high benchmark, but it's not, un, you know, it's nothing that's super hard to hit, especially if, like, I've been reselling for over 10 years now, off and on, just as like a side hobby. Uh, so, you know, with my with my skill set and experience that I have in it, it shouldn't be, you know, too much of a problem being able to hit that, especially if I'm staying committed and I'm putting in these types of hours. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. Uh, keep watching my videos. I'm going to be get sharing tips like these uh, and then just kind of documenting the journey, letting you know the struggles I run across, letting you guys know the, you know, and the things that are working out good for me. I'm going to be sharing all of it with you guys. So if you guys want to, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps out a lot because I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel right now. Uh, and you know, any, any, anything like that you guys can do for me, uh, I will continue to share as much information and insight as I possibly can. So thanks so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.